Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Four right angles. Now when you talk about quadrilaterals with all sides equal, so all that we can think of, the first thing that comes to our mind is a square where all sides are equal and all angles are also equal. So basically square would come here also because in square you have all right angles. So square would fit into this criteria as well. Four sides equal another example would be rhombus. In rhombus also we have four sides equal but in this case the angles are not equal. Now when you talk about four right angles one could be square the other could be rectangle where all the angles are right angles but their sides are not equal. Question number three. Name the quadrilaterals whose diagonals bisect each other. Now there are many such quadrilaterals. One such quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So in parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other. You think of the special parallelograms. I mean they also come under parallelogram anyways because all rectangles are parallelogram. All squares are also parallelogram. All rhombuses are also parallelogram. So parallelograms are those where the diagonals bisect each other where diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So this happens only in case of square and rhombus. Diagonals are equal. Now diagonals are equal. This happens again in case of square and rectangle. So we have proved each of these properties in detail some time back. So I think you can refer them if you want to know why this happens. Question number four. ABC is a right angle triangle and O is the midpoint of the side opposite to the right angle. So right angle is this angle, angle B. So AC is the side opposite to the right angle. Explain why O is equidistant from A, B and C. Basically you have to prove that this distance is equal to this distance. That is OA is equal to OB is equal to OC. So this is what you have to basically prove. Now the in the diagram you see there are some extrapolated lines so it, which is trying to so show that if you have a right triangle and if you create another triangle on the other side these two triangles together form a rectangle. So this has actually formed a rectangle. Now if you recall the properties of rectangle what do we see? We see that in a case of a rectangles, the diagonals are equal in length and also the diagonals bisect each other. Now when we say that diagonals bisect each other, that would mean OA will be equal to OC and OB will be equal to OD. And when we say that diagonals are equal, that means BD will be equal to AC. Now considering this as well as this relation, we can very easily prove that OA is equal to OB is equal to OC. That's because when we say BD is equal to AC, what are we actually saying? We are trying to say that BD is equal to AC. So BD is nothing but BO plus OD and AC is nothing but AO plus OC. Right now, since we know that BO is equal to DO, therefore we can write instead of DO, we can write BO. Similarly, here we know that AO is equal to OC. So instead of OC, we can write AO. So from this, we can write 2BO is equal to 2AO, or we can say BO is equal to AO. So from here we have proved that BO is equal to AO and from here we saw that AO is equal to CO. Therefore we can say that all these three are equal and therefore O is equidistant from points A, B and C. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on quadrilaterals would have helped you. The most important uh, tip that I would like to give you in terms of solving questions related to quadrilaterals is that focus more on the properties when you are trying to solve any questions. Try to understand the question properly and draw a diagram. That should be your first step when you try to solve a problem. Draw a diagram. Once your diagram is correct, 
I mean, and you remember the properties, I am sure you will be able to solve it correctly. So uh, with this, I would conclude this lesson. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.